Welcome back to Sunless Let's see. Alright, let's continue the voyage. Time to head north to the Empire of Hands. I think I'm going to take a roundabout route through here to expose a little more of the map. We'll see what the adventuress has been up to. Let's see if she needs any more help. the restless night. Alright, let's talk to the crew. Ten more fragments, one more tear. That's fine. Get a port report. Okay, so I can just buy stuff here, nothing particularly want. Shore leave? Yeah, let's do it. The parasynthetic jungle holds many dangers. Step carefully. There's no authority beyond the fence. Buried treasure? Being buried? Deep in the forest, an important looking ape in the yellow ropes oversees two lesser monkeys as they dig a hole in the ground. Having dropped the strange-looking idol into the pit and covered it up, one scrapes a deep X over it, while the other slides a map into a bottle, corks it, and scampers off to throw it into the Z. Curious, however, any treasure hunter who may find the map and follow it here will be out of luck. Sweet, I got an outlandish artifact. That was worth it. could do that some more, but you know what? Mm, it's not. Alright. I'll say village. The Lost Treasure Hunter. It was not madness that drove these pirates to cannibalism, but years of being stripped at without the comfort of meat. After a while, any meat would do. No, I'm not going to engage in the cannibalism. Join a raid, that's a bad idea. Alright, the lost treasure hunter. He joined the pirates to see the Z. Now he just hopes one day to see something he recognizes. Ahoy! How goes your search, he asks. Find anything? It is a voice so that so badly wants the answer to be no. 
can trade supplies for Foxfire candles. Okay, I actually have a Foxfire candle. Trade a live specimen for a flare. Specimen? Uh, sure, let's do it. Uh, I have seven supplies. I always purchase more. Box by candles and supplies are about the same price, so it's not really. Eh. I, mean, I suppose I can get them a little bit cheaper in London than. It's not really worth it for me, though. Yeah. Done that. Fountainhead Island. Let's visit the delightful adventures. Oh, it's you, of course. Help me with these blasted apps, would you? The monkeys are quite clueless. And, uh, I've read this before. Anything new from her? Well, I could go to the vault. Outside the vault. And that's that. Alright. Christmas. I could go to the uh, monkey family's hut. She does not seem to be here right now. A pair of Pentecost apes are, though, glaring at you with equal parts malice and their usual avarice. Chased away. The two Pentecost apes attack, snarling and hissing. Their raw ferocity forces a retreat, though they do not follow and press the advantage. Once you are through the trees, the chase ends. Peering through the foliage, you see, you see them quietly return to their strange vigil. Okay, so I guess there's nothing for me to do here. You return to the rowboat. Now you look carefully, you can see the traps hidden in the forest. All things considered, it is for the best. The ghost of Ash Isthmus saw you as a playmate instead of an invader. There are reasons both humans and smarter apes leave her to her own devices. Yes, yes. It's a good thing I'm friends with her now, so doesn't want to murder me. Ooh, I can gain access to the court. Let's do that. The gates are guarded by two armored monkeys that would look adorable if not for their blood on their bayonets. Humans are not welcome without an invitation or a worthy gift for the emperor. The wild wheeled court. The stench and heat as the gates open are a sucker punch to your senses. Inside, the stagnant air of the windowless wood palace hangs with sweat and tastes of air. Everything is filthy and every surface used. The apes has likely to swing across the roof as walk the floors. It prized the oasis of relative calm, the high souled conduct themselves with the poise of high-born lords and ladies. Around them, their barely afflicted lessers scamper around exhausted, taking orders and cruelties from all who care to dispense them. In the middle are countless more, a sea of apes longing for advancement and fighting for what they have with tooth claw and low cunning. Emperor Crispin the Fourth holds court in the heart of his palace. None may speak without permission, but the voice of the Emperor is still the least heard of all. Summoned by the Emperor, to step into his throne room is to step into another world, a polished one of cool and blessed quiet that already feels as alien as it is pleasant. An official welcome. The Emperor sits on his throne, wrapped in robes of violet and wearing an ornate golden mask. He remains motionless, silent. 
He could be mistaken for a statue, if not for the almost imperceptible nod to grant his sensual permission to speak his name. She approaches, arms folded in her red-trimmed yellow robes of court mandarin. Her expression is carefully blank. The chestnut hair on her face powdered alabaster white and decorated with exquisite detail in red and black. The rings on her fingers mark her as ten-souled ape, a status even the admiralty can respect. She bows before you, a complicated ritual display of sweeping sleeves that somehow never break eye contact. Finished, she waits for your response. I could return the bow. I can curtsy instead. Or remain still. Um, so these are both 50 50. I'll do a curtsy. Hopefully, I succeed. Nope. A flicker of disapproval. Did you do something wrong? It appears so. Be that as it may, there is business to discuss. Oh well. The Great Exodus. The exquisite Seneschal that requests your assistance to supply the Empire of Hands great work. A zeppelin that will make them that will take them to a new home far away from here. Materials for the journey. You point out that the, to the Admiral you point out that the Admiralty has the Empire of Hands both under embargo and quarantine. The only thing worse to be caught down here than supplying them would be helping them escape their confinement. Have your people not already caused us enough pain? She demands. We starve. And you would prevent us being fed? We thirst to explore. And you cage us like animals? Why? For what fine purpose? What threat are we to you who happily dine with devils? She shakes her head almost with pity. What could you possibly see in us that shames you so? Yeah, you know what, I'll help the apes. The exquisite seneschal bows again deeper. With a pair of servants to row the boat, she takes you to the Zeppelin site in Port Stanton. It was originally a project of a traveler from afar hoping to travel east, who encountered an accident. In his plans, an engine, however, the monkeys saw their opportunity. The Great Exodus will require supplies and fuel, of course, explains the exquisite Seneschal. We also seek souls to uplift our brethren, that they may join the work. You will, of course, be reasonably compensated for your expenses and rewarded upon completion. She also hints that there may be faster ways to complete the Zeppelin. To say more, though, would require a level of trust that you have not yet earned. Alright. Gain 5 status. Alright. Ah, I only have one crate. I would need two crates. To do this, I can contribute supplies. But wow, that costs 5 supplies. That would leave me almost done. I can't do that right now. Contribute fuel. 10 fuel. Okay, well, I know what I need. So next time I come back here, I can um, hopefully come with some of that. Alright, might as well hit up the channel, Nate. And Khan's Shadow. And Power 3 to get some clay men. And then to Port Cecil to drop off that passenger. I'm probably back home from there. The north I have mostly explored, except up here. But I don't think there's anything else up here by Era. Probably need some more fuel along the way. But supplies, eh. I might make it with what I have. Maybe not. If I have a chance to buy some more, I'll probably buy one or two more supplies. I don't need to take chances.
Yeah, shore leave seems like a really bad idea. Yeah, they have shops, but they don't sell fuel. And they only buy caskets to sell fires, they don't sell them. Alright, so nothing good. They do sell stitchy and ivory, which are which is used elsewhere, but I kind of need to leave room on my ship um, for those clay men and whatever else I pick up. get another crate of human souls, which I will. So next time I'm at the Empire of Hands, I'll have that to look at them. Fuel, actually not that expensive. Uh, supplies, yes. Alright, that's good. Ooh, I can get a captivating treasure, but it's very expensive. I need to have six spaces, which I do. Alright. Might as well start the Godfall.
that's all I can do here. Off to Port Cecil. Drop off my passenger. Something's over there. Whoa, don't. Basic maneuvers. Even if they come after me, I don't think they can catch me. Like that con. eagerly by the rail. He left his head to inhale. I can already smell the chess, he announces. Thank you. Farewell. He says neither of these things. He drops a sweaty bundle of banknotes in your hand and hair is up to the hill, fingers twitching to begin a game. Game player, eh? Hunter Echo. Eh. Oh well. Let's hope it for more, but oh well. Sintelac. 40% chance, huh? Let's do it. I succeeded. Gained 4 Terra, but I gained a Sintelac. Nice. Nice. Um, no, I think I'm good. Especially since I'm trying to have room so I can pick some stuff up at the Salt Lions and carry it to London. Yeah. Alright, let's have six cargo hold. By the time I get there, maybe I'll have like about uh, nine or ten. I don't know if it'll be worth it because I actually need like 20 spaces, I think, to take the full cargo. Stone. Yeah, I need 20 units of spare cargo space. I have seven. It's not worth it, but I can't get it for a report. Swing by Abbey Rock. Hunter's Keep is burnt to the ground, so that's not going to do me any good, but I'm straight back home. Maybe I will take another trip back up to the surface. I can, I can afford the supplies and fuel. 
I have coffee with me this time, and who knows, maybe I'll pick up another package to drop off in London. With all the port reports that I'm gonna hand in, I'm gonna have a whole bunch of fuel. recent news, so this is probably not going to lead to anywhere. Watch the convent. Eh, might as well. Ooh, I got a strange catch. Nice. Alright, that was worth it. No point in stopping in station three. I don't have a long box. Really need a ship with a bigger cargo hold. so much more money each trip if I had a bigger cargo hold. Oh well, I should still make a pretty penny. If nothing else then because of all the um, port reports. Hopefully I don't get searched. Looks like I got away with it. Alright, we'll hand in the port reports and do all that other fun stuff. Hand over the shipment of honey. See what else awaits us in London next time.